Hey YouTubers, how are we? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're keeping safe out there. As you can see we're in the garage today and today is the day we're going to change the oil on the CCM. So if you fancy knowing how to change the oil on your CCM, stick around and stay tuned. So just as preparation, what I've done, I've taken the skid plate off the bottom. You don't have to because there is a hole in the bottom to drain the oil out of it. But because there's a gauze that's fitting over on the um, left hand side, it's round about where the skid plate comes, it just gets a bit awkward. So for four bolts, might as well just take it off. So that's off now. Um, just going to warm the engine up, warm the oil up. Some people say you don't have to or you shouldn't do, but hey, I've always done it. And I was will gonna do it. So we'll get this um engine warmed up, ready for dropping oil out of it. Yeah, some people say that um if you warm it up before, all the oil goes to the top of the engine. But then again the viscosity is not as um thin, so I don't know, up to yourself, I always warm them up, car, bike, whatever, easiest way. So that was a bit weird, I thought, I thought that this was a dry sump, but it isn't, I probably haven't left it long enough to, for the oil to go back into the sump. Um, so drain the oil out of it, what I've done is taken off the cartridge on the other side, it's got a cartridge um, mesh filter, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, so what we're going to do, we'll change the oil filter on this side, we'll then go to the other side and do the mesh filter. There is a mesh filter inside the clutch underneath here. Um, you just see the, well, you can't see because it's just there. Um, I'm not going to do that this time because I've got a gasket for it. Husqvarna 630, 630TE engine. They say 3000 miles to change the oil and filter and every half of that just change the oil. But this time, I, I, I have no idea when it was done. That oil smells quite a lot, quite a bit. Um, it stinks, so it's had a bit of um, hammer. So I don't know when that was that was done. I believe it was supposed to be done on its, like, on its first thousand mile service, and that has been done since. Uh, 1.8 litres of um, 1050, fully synthetic, back, gonna go back into it. Um, so yeah, let's change this oil filter, shall we? Some plug's still out. The gauze is still out on the other side. Um, just to get rid of all the residue. I was looking on the internet the other day and I saw somebody says what you should do is um, rock your bike from side to side. <laughs> it's like, okay, I've never heard that one before to get all the oil out of it. Well you're never going to because this I believe holds about two litres um, and we're only going to replace 1.8 so that would mean 0.2 is still left in the engine but my sense of smell isn't brilliant at the moment after I had Covid but um, that oil stinks I say been sing you know, it's only a single cylinder it's um, it gets a bit of hammer so I'm just going to carbon up quite quick and start smelling but and hopefully the gear change is going to make it a lot better after we've done this the oil filter fits which is good so this was um, I'll put a link down below where the um, oil filter came from premium oil filter I think it was about just under nine quid so for for nine quid 
and I'll show you the oil in a minute where I got it from and that wasn't expensive so for the sake of what's it going to be 20 quid it's not really um, expensive to do and like I said I was trying to say 3,000 miles change the filter 1500 miles change the oil but change the oil both sides 12 times this is probably done about 500 miles since its last service but like I say that, that oil is stinky um, o-ring on it it shouldn't be um, a problem I, probably the second time I, I um, re change it I'll probably replace the oil o-ring but um, it shouldn't get flat at the moment shouldn't really be an issue, all well, I'm hoping it's not going to be um, delicate um, engineering on these um, engines I'm used to doing Land Rovers and big heavy duty stuff so what size is that 8mm um, socket there's um, brake lines to me everywhere else there will be a torque setting I'll say it's probably around about probably 12 or 14 newton metres that because that's all it was, so it's only got a, it does got an o-ring in it, so there's no issue regarding that, it doesn't have to be horsed up. So yeah, there, there, there would be, um, you can just see the indentation there, there's another gauze filter in this side, but um, this time, because I haven't got the gasket, I'm going to leave that, because I'm just checking out the other side, and everything seems okay so there's not really an issue with that I'll show you the um, the other side if we can um, no, I don't know what we'll do. hole into the engine which has like I said two gauze filters two gauze oil filters as well as a paper filter on this bike weird really um, so that's where most of the oil came out of this is the filter itself what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some brake cleaner on that, I use petrol or anything um, just to get everything off that, there's not much, there's nothing there's no residue so there's no wearing inside the engine and that's the um, the cap with a double o-ring um, that comes off it so we'll get that cleaned get that back in and then um, some plug back on and stick some oil back in it awesome so that's the gauze cleaned what it is it's like a double flow what it looks like is that um, something flows through it and then comes out of it as it goes into the engine there's only one way it should go in because on this side there's an o-ring which um, holds it into the engine into probably an oil port so it can only go in one way because if you try and put it in the other way it won't fit and this will go into the engine somewhere so let's um, make sure that, that does that when you put it back together so we've already got one bolt in so we'll get the second one in now when you as I say there's two o-rings into it seated into it just make sure that it's sat in just before you tighten everything because what you don't want to do is to nip them nip them o-rings and um, create a leak The same again there will be a torque setting I don't know it off of my hand um, it's only aluminium and it's got o-rings on it so there's no point in horsing it up but there will be a torque setting I'll try and find what the torque setting is and then um, before I upload the video and uh, we'll put that onto there so that's the inside left hand side goes on filter back together all clean and done I'm just going to put the sump plug back in and um, we'll fill it back up with oil
I just measured what I took out. It was around about 1.4 that we got out. So, so I think the uh, battery went. So yeah, Westway, I put 540 in this. Um, fully synthetic, matches everything you need to do. So there's nothing wrong with that expensive oil if you're doing to the manufacturer's uh, specifications of changing the oil. I do a lot of stuff every 12 months. Why? Why not? For the sake of it. So you don't actually need to spend that much money and the positive of it is that you're swapping the oil twice as fast it's costing the same amount of money so you're getting rid of the particles, possible wear particles and going around the engine and damaging your engine so in theory it should give you a cleaner, better running engine and a longer lasting one well that's my, that's what I think anyway so dead easy to change the oil on a CCM Spitfire if you did enjoy that uh, video give it a big thumbs up Thanks very much to all you subscribers out there. We're getting there nearly, nearly a thousand. About 300 and, ooh, what, 35 I think left to go. Then we can start using other things within uh, YouTube. Please tell all your friends. Don't forget to like, tag, share and follow. Um, any comments, anything like to comment down below, please comment. Um, do you have one? Is it out of warranty? Get it serviced yourself. Um, I'll put a link down below where I got the oil filter from and the oil. There's no point in showing you how to level it all up and do it. You can, you know, I do that. That was the basics of how to change everything. Once you get it running, make sure there's no leaks out of it anywhere, um, and then everything should be okay. Oil level between the two sites. Um, in the back, I put 1.1 liter in this. I got about 1.4, 1.5 out of it. So I'm going to get that done. So um, nearly all riding now another by the time you probably watch this you probably will be out riding and all okay keep safe out there keep safe ride safe be safe um, and as I say no before you do go don't forget still 88% of you guys and girls that are watching this video and subscribe please click that subscribe button ring that bell every time you upload a video you'll get a notification that'd be awesome if you could do that much appreciated I'm getting comments all over the place now which is great love answering them ask the questions there's no such thing as a daft question and not many of you get to this point do you really as they say we'll see you soon